Hey, what's up guys, Asib here. Welcome to the video. We are back with the Go High Level Zapier automation series. So in this video, we are going to look into how to create a new task in Asana or ClickUp if an onboarding form has been submitted. So basically what we're going to do is uh, if I go to my high level account, I have a survey over here that says landing page onboarding survey. Uh, what I want to do is if someone fills out this onboarding form for a new landing page build, I want an Asana task to be automatically created. Those who use Asana, they can use Asana. Those who use ClickUp, they can do an integration for ClickUp. So it's all the same. We need a task created in our project management software. So let's go do a CF preview because we've worked with this form or this survey before in one of the previous videos. So there's nothing new to look at. But what we wanna do is, uh, first of all, we wanna go to automation. And let's start by creating our our workflow. So uh, that's the one. Okay, onboarding form submit automation. Let's just get rid of this one. We want to create a new one so you, I can show you how it's done. Let's do start from scratch. So what we want to do is whenever this survey is submitted, we want a new uh, workflow to be triggering the webhook, right? Right. So let's see. Uh, three onboarding form submit automation and we'll select survey because uh, we want this to be executing whenever the landing page onboarding is submitted and we want the action to be webhook now let's keep it there let's go to our zapier account now so here we are with our zapier account now let's create a new zap here that will let me rename it to onboarding Oh, we have it already. So, okay. Onboarding submitted, create Asana. That's what we need to do. So again, just like the previous videos, if you have watched them already, uh, if you haven't, do watch them. Or uh, just like a previous video, the trigger for this app is going to be webhook. So the form is submitted. This is the flow, right? The form is submitted or the survey submitted. Go high level workflow execute. That workflow triggers when the survey is submitted and as an action that throws data into a webhook which is which is why we have uh, the method here as post and that webhook is caught by this zap over here that's basically the uh, flow so let's use catch hook as our webhook trigger and here we're not going to do anything we're just going to copy this webhook url that zapier gave us and put it there in the go high level workflow that's it hit publish and uh, that's pretty much what we need to do in uh, in go high level now the rest of the things need to be done on zapier so now if you click on test trigger it's going to ask you to give it some test data and by doing a test submission in this survey we are we are uh, going to send a test data so when the survey is submitted go high level workflow sends a test data to this zap so zapier can map the fields with your asana or it allows you to map the fields with asana so let's go ahead and do a test so i'll, I'll just quickly pause this video i don't want to waste your time and i'll come back when the when i'm done submitting this uh the survey all right i'm done answering all the questions I, i'm just going to submit this survey and now i'm going to go back to zapier because i'm sure that zapier has already received the information i submitted in the survey by now all right that's the information so that's pretty much what i provided that's my phone number that's my email that's my answer to the, to the questions in the survey that's my name everything uh, looks all right now i'm gonna just proceed uh because we have the test data now i'm gonna search asana now the action so i'm gonna search asana so where does this data need to go it needs to go to asana now action event we need to be uh let's see so what do we need to do we need to create a project. We need to create a task, really. So I'll just do create task and then account. So it's asking me to connect Asana, right? If you're logged in to your Asana profile or workspace in the same browser, it's going to bring you to this screen over here. And you're just basically going to allow this. That's it. Uh, you don't have to do anything else. But if you're not logged in, do log in um, and then continue. And then now it's going to ask you which workspace uh, you want to work with. So I'm going to do... I have a few workspaces under this account, so I'm going to select the correct one. And now projects, it's going to ask you a bunch of projects. So I'm going to do uh, one of the projects, whichever sounds relevant. Uh, and again, for ClickUp, there's workspace, there's space, there's folders. You know, that's the same kind of orientation you're looking at right now in ClickUp as well. So just follow the steps and you'll get to the finish line. So that's the project. Which section? 
uh, untitled section. I only have one in this case, uh, due date type. That's fine. We don't have to do anything else name. So name will be, let's see. So I'm just going to write the project name. So I'm going to do uh, business. So let's search for business name because that's one of the information I received from that survey business name space landing page build. So every time there's a new task for a landing page build, it's going to say this business name landing page build awesome business landing page build uh, evergreen roofers landing page build so that's the whole idea now in the description section you can dump all the information you received from the survey to zapier so i'm going to say name i'm going to say email i'm going to say phone number business name is already there but i'll just write it anyway uh, address and then i'll also write service questions to ask in the page form right uh, images loads of things um, and you can customize it according to your needs but for now that's pretty much it so i'll just do first name last name or i could just do full name because it's uh, there's a full name field here and that's the email that's the phone number uh let me search for this so business oh uh, there you go business name address that's the address space uh, okay let's do full address there's a full address field here, so I don't have to individually pick the addresses uh, and then search for services because those were the fields in my um, in, in my survey. That's how I'm mapping this out. So these are basically custom fields I created in, inside my high level survey uh, questions. What questions do you ask someone in order to send them a quote? That's one of the questions I ask. And lastly, images. This is the correct one. Please share some images. Drive.com. OK, that's fine. And uh, is the description rich text? That's fine. No, no need to do anything with that. Mark task is complete. No, nope. uh, mark task is, task is liked. No, nope. assignee you can assign to multiple people. So if you have multiple employees under your workspace, it'll ask you to assign it to the um, corresponding person. So I'll assign it to myself. Followers, uh, tags, you know, don't need to do anything. And now let's test the step. And I'll show you how it's created a task automatically inside my Asana. Okay, guys, so here we are in our Asana space. As you can see, I'm under the the correct workspace, of course. And uh, this is the business name space landing page build, according to how I set it up uh, in the Zap. And just how we set up the description, it's literally followed everything I asked it to do. And that's how you create an Asana task automatically, uh, you know, using Zapier on a go high level survey submit. You can do it for form, you can do it for survey. Uh, so hopefully that makes sense and hopefully you'll be able to automate your onboarding and make it a bit easier for your team so that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one